Like Resident Evil, Silent Hill is a game franchise that I talk about often. Way too often for a series that hasn't had a good game since I was two years old. But exactly seven years and one day ago... Yeah, um... I wasn't able to finish this video on, on the exact anniversary. The day before, I had work. And then after work, I had a date. But... Today is Friday the 13th, so that's at least somewhat horror-related. That's gotta count for, like, something. In 2014, on August 12th, we got a little taste of the possible rebirth of Silent Hill, when a mysterious demo titled PT randomly appeared on the PlayStation Store and took the internet by storm. Everyone wanted to figure out what this bizarre game demo was. And, well, spoiler alert, it was a teaser for a Silent Hill revamp called Silent Hill Zzzz. This revamp was being made by Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro and starring Norman Reedus. So I, along with many fans of the series, was incredibly excited for this new Silent Hill game. PT was so interesting. You were just stuck in this forever looping hallway with it slowly changing each time you solved the previous hallway's puzzle. And these puzzles were tough. So tough that the internet had to join together and become detectives to solve them, resulting in some absolutely bizarre theories. It's a glitch message that's signed by someone asking us to contact them, and they've signed the message J. So now our answer is J blank R blank T blank, making our search of male names much simpler. And right away a name popped out a name that means descend and refers to the Book of Enoch, where angels came down from heaven to commit the sin of mating with human women, who had children known as the Fallen Ones, a story directly paralleling the story of Lisa, her husband, and her child. That name? Jareth. Applying this knowledge to the game is simple enough. After taking ten steps at the final loop and getting the first baby laugh, Wait until Lisa stops making her ghost noises, but the radio hasn't gone completely silent. This is what that inert waiting phrase from before is referencing. Once Lisa stops, start saying Jareth into a mic connected to your PlayStation 4. Jared, Dude, turn to the Jared, left, turn, turn, Jared, no, the other way. Jareth! 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 I don't see her, do you? Jareth! <laughs> My controller rumbled! Alright, don't controller move, rumbled. don't move! <sighs> but then... Kojima got fired, and the game got cancelled. And even though PT was an overall incredible experience... I wish it never happened. Okay. I don't know if I fully mean that, but I definitely wish it wasn't linked to the Silent Hill name. This is not a Silent Hill game. Not only does it not resemble a Silent Hill game, visually or gameplay-wise, but it also completely fucked over possible future Silent Hill games. Now, I know this might be quite the hot take. Even a little controversial. But just hear me out. With so much hype surrounding PT, it got so much attention it brought a lot of new eyes to the Silent Hill series. But all these people knew about the Silent Hill IP was Kojima's PT Silent Hills. A first person game with no combat, no misty town, no cult, and no other world. Even the monster design is completely different. Silent Hill's monster theme has always been soured flesh, with these morphed fleshy creatures being some of the most unique and creepy looking things out of any horror game. Remember, this is the series that made Pyramid Head. You know, one of the most well-known characters in all of horror. But now, it's just your standard creepy ghost girl. These people who just joined the Silent Hill fandom because of PT didn't actually know what Silent Hill was. 
Years later, it is so apparent that this doesn't resemble a Silent Hill game to the point that there are theories that this wasn't even a teaser for a Silent Hill game, but instead a game demo version of a diss track from Kojima to Konami which has so many coincidences, it actually makes a lot of sense and really adds up. But that's not what we're here to talk about, so if you want to hear more about this theory, top link in the description, it'll bring you to this incredibly well-made video explaining this theory. Not only was it a Silent Hill game that brought a lot of attention to the series, and was lacking most of the main elements of Silent Hill, but after Kojima was fired, rumors of Konami making a Silent Hill game resurfaced. And a group of the new Silent Hill community had an interesting take. Kojima is a massive name, and it's for good reason, I mean, have you played Metal Gear Solid 3? But with this massive name being so heavily advertised with this revamp, it ended up casting a shadow over the original team that made the first four Silent Hill games. Silent Hill was Silent Hill before Kojima. Like way before Kojima. The most loved Silent Hill game was released 13 years before Kojima even touched the IP. The original creators of Silent Hill were a group of misfits working at Konami that had failed all their previous projects. They are formed together by Konami to make a game that would sell well in the West and compete with Capcom's Resident Evil. This was their final chance to prove themselves. And they fucking nailed it. The main name I would tape onto the Silent Hill franchise is Take... Talk... Uh... T-Dog. T-Dog was the character designer and animator who worked on the original Silent Hill. He was very young compared to the other staff and new to Konami, but incredibly good at what he does and would teach the older staff members the way of... Technology. But because he was so new to the company, and not really known to the public, Konami was planning on hiring a visual supervisor with a bigger name to slap onto the back of the box, giving him no credit. Now when T-Dog heard this, this absolute mad lad went to Konami and was like, You think I'm really gonna let you cuck me like that? You really think that I'm gonna let you do that to me? Nah. You know what? Fuck you, Konami. I'm gonna make all the cutscenes, every single one, and every single animation in this game by myself, and you will have no choice but to put my name in the credits. Bold that shit. Italicize that shit. And he did it. This dude lived at the office and slept under his desk. When the other employees at Konami went home from work, he would use every computer in the office to render out every little bit of animation for this game. Not only did he do that for Silent Hill 1, but he came up with the story for Silent Hill 2, which is the most beloved game in the series, specifically for its story. So, yeah, I think this dude deserves to be considered the face of Silent Hill, not Hideo Kojima. My point out of all of this is the massive Hideo Kojima name hurt the Silent Hill franchise. I see people in the community posting saying, It won't be as good as if Hideo Kojima made it. Which is such a fucking brain dead take. This little demo does not represent Silent Hill in any way. Take Resident Evil 7 and 8 for example. This was a revamp of the Resident Evil series. Just like PT, they switched the original games from being third person or having fixed camera angles to the modern being in first person. But Resident Evil did it right. Even if these games look completely different, they still play somewhat the same. You make your way through these creepy locations, you still have to solve interesting puzzles while killing monsters created by viruses, and you're reserving your ammo while finding materials to craft new weapons, ammo, or healing items. The core gameplay was still there, and even though PT had some small resemblances to Silent Hill like puzzles, 
a talking fetus, and the main enemy twitching like a monster from Jacob's Ladder, which is a really good movie from 1990 that heavily inspired Silent Hill 2. It inspired Silent Hill 2 to the point where the main characters have the same initials and wear the same jacket. Wait, actually this kinda looks similar to my jacket. Resident Evil 8 is the newest entry in the Resident Evil series, and while I have some complaints about the game not feeling enough like the original Resident Evil games, I publicly defended the game's monster designs for being different from all the previous entries, when the community was having a debate on whether lichens or vampires belong in Resident Evil. It's debatable if they did the best job, like this game does lack a lot in the Resident Evil department, but it was a way better attempt than PT did with Silent Hills. It is okay to switch things up. Especially when it comes to video game series that are old as shit. We've had so many viruses create zombies, so I'm fine with them making the decision to have a virus that makes lichens and mix it up, as long as the other parts of Resident Evil are intact. With PT, the gameplay wasn't the same. The visuals weren't similar. The monster design? The soundtrack? None of it even resembled the original Team Silent games. For fuck's sake, the dollhouse sequence in Resident Evil 8 is more similar to Silent Hill than this Silent Hill teaser demo. Silent Hills could have been a good, or even a great horror game. But not a good Silent Hill game. And attaching Hideo Kojima's name to the series has resulted in new members of the community having unrealistic expectations for any future Silent Hill games. And downright wanting a game that isn't even Silent Hill.